What's up, me and me and my mom gang? Hey, you guys, quick. I want to do a quick video to talk about the coronavirus, how it has affected us, what we um have changed, how we're moving around all over the world, and what are we doing, how it affected us, and what we have learned. It's a good and a bad thing. It's just how you perceive it. It's just how you take it and what you plan for in the future, for your future. Um, before I get into the video real quick, I want to tell you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and comment down below. Answer my questions that I'm asking you guys if you want to talk more on what I'm talking about. Add on, do it all in the comment section, y'all. Before I really get into this video, um, seriously, I just want to pray. You know, um, I'm Christian. But if you are Buddhist, if you are Muslim, if you are Jewish, pray along with me, but pray to your God, whoever you believe in. Um, okay. Dear God, I come to you today, humble, graceful, and half. Um, I'm asking you to come into my life and make me whole again, dear God. I come to you and ask you, please, please, please cradle all over the world as this virus is becoming a major academic for everyone around the world. The oldest to the youngest, the youngest to the oldest, dear God. I ask you to Come into our hearts, come into our mind, come into our soul, and get us to be indulged in you and your word, or be indulged in the news to seek knowledge on this virus, on how we can protect one another, how we can plan for the future and and get a cap on the virus and help the people and nurture the people that's ill and have got affected by the virus there God please watch over us all just do your thing there God they say you don't bring us to anything without being able to see us through there God and myself and I know some of the viewers on here if not all the viewers no matter what God you you seek um Pray, you seek knowledge from you seek prayer to just come together and just bring us all together and just let us know it's going to be okay dear God um we we just want to I come to you today and I believe some of the rules are coming and you said if you come with more than two people I will answer your prayers and we're just praying dear God we're just praying that you you uplift the people that you need to uplift and we, we get they get a hold on this virus and we can all go back outside and we can all live our lives as normally as possible dear god we pray on the first responders we pray pray on the ambul the, the 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 paramedics the nurses the doctors the firemen the policemen the state troopers even the security god dear god we pray that all is safe and the people that stick their necks out the farthest and hit this virus head on or that's exposed every day dear god minute after minute hour after hour dear god we pray that you protect them and the ones that are sick please heal them dear god heal them dear dear god we come to you humbly humbly and full of grace dear god and we have faith we are walking or in acceptance to walk by faith that you, dear God, will fix this. But I know you need help. So you need us to use our hand sanitizers, use our masks, and use our gloves, dear God. Please, we come to you and we pray. Heavenly Father, Allah, Buddhist, Mary, Amen, dear God. <sighs> so, 
I'm serious about that. Thank you guys for praying with me just that quick second. Um, it only take a few seconds to pray to God. He hears all prayers. Allah hears all prayers. Mary hears all prayers. And Buddha hears all prayers, to, um, you guys. If I missed a religion, it's not on purpose. Um, I'm talking to you guys as well. But that felt kind of good. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders with that prayer. Did y'all feel it? I felt that. I felt that. That was, that was good. That was good. But, um, yeah, so I'm working. Um, I'm currently doing a um, in-car detail. So, fortunately, I am in a safe spot. You know, I sanitize my car frequently, getting in and getting out. And I am able to say I'm in the same spot right now. But how has it affected you guys? Um, it just affected me on being conscious and being woke, waking, waking me up, honestly. I would sleep to a lot of different things that I didn't pay attention to. And with this whole virus and the academic and what's going on, I just became woke. I'm, I'm more into, I'm more into the news, the world news, um, politics, and my local news. I haven't, before all this, I wasn't watching the news. Now, I'll go to like, if I see a news report pop on this, guilty as charge. I know a lot of people do it. But if you see like a news ad pop on like Facebook or Instagram or something, we tend to pop on it, see what's going on for that specific thing, and get off. But watching the news on the news and just being in tune and just um, being... Um, being into what they're saying and wanting to learn. Um, I haven't been doing that. And now I am. And I move different. Now, I've always been like a, okay, wash your hands, clean, stay clean, you know, take frequent showers, stuff like that. But I'm like really into that now, like, hand sanitizer. I have my hand sanitizer with me. I have a small one that's in my security vest. Um, I'm frequently washing my hands or putting this hand sanitizer on now. And I haven't been doing that before this. Um, just I'm in security so it's a lot of um, it's a lot of buildings that need um, security that has been shut down is still some essential places that's still open that I secure and just running around ragged with that it, it has affected me and my family um they just staying in the house it affected them because now we got to figure out what to do in the house you know with the kids and different things we you know, have to do, we have to monitor the food because they are limited. It's limited food products or limited water and tissue and stuff like that right now. So, we have been monitoring that and that has been uh, really affecting us. Um, but uh, I've learned so much. I've learned a lot about myself. For one, I've learned, I've learned to zero into myself to change my daily routines and figure out what's important and what's not important. It's not that far as I stand in the house. It's not that I wanted to go outside so bad. It's just that what we take for granted. We take for granted that we could go to the library or we could go take a run or a walk in the park 
or just have a family gathering out with fresh air and, and, and with a nice atmosphere and just do certain things go to the mall go to the casino or something like that we take a, a, a advantage of what we sh uh, not advantage i'm sorry wrong choice of words we take for granted of what we can do and what we don't do you know um i really been focusing on family checking in on my elders checking on the babies you know checking in on people who don't have you know um and that's what i've been doing but like what have you guys been doing you know um what would have had what has it taught you what are you what were you doing before this that you can't do now what are you doing now that you wouldn't have thought about doing when the cities, when the world was fully operated, you know, or operating, what is it that has changed personally in your life? You know, um, those are definitely the questions that you know I want to know from you guys. You know, like I said, with the opening prayer just had to just pray that God heals all. You know, Allah heals all. You know, um, like I said early in the video, if I forgot your religion, it's not on purpose. Don't take it personal. But, you know, I just wanted to know what you guys are doing. How are you guys passing by the time? Um, what have you learned about your family members that you didn't know because you're so used to, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I got to go here. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, this going on or that going on. All outside your family that you forget about your family. You know? But I will be back on for more content. Uh, a light, lighter load. <laughs> so, you know, stick in. Stay tuned. Drop your notifications down under the video. Turn your notifications on. Subscribe. And the people that are subscribed to the channel, have your notifications on. The people who are leaving comments, the people who are just watching, I appreciate all you guys. And if I'm looking this way or that way, it's because I have the phone on the tilt and I'm trying to look in the camera, but then I'm looking at myself. So I'm getting used to it still. But... Y'all get the content. And I hope all has been delivered the way I intended on delivering it to you guys. Also, I want to I wanna say that I hope all of you are safe. All of you are, are in good health. And those of you who are not, I, I pray that you, you find healing. I pray that the doctors and the nurses, you get the best of the best so you can be well again. That's it, you guys. This this is a pretty touchy topic because it's affecting the whole world. I never, with so many different viruses going around over the years, seen anything that could stop the whole world. The whole world. So, I'm going to continue to pray for y'all as I pray for myself. And I hope everybody is practicing a safe distance. Use your hand sanitizer. Wear your gloves, wear your mask. I hope that you do what you have to do because, like it or not, they're telling us to do it for a reason. And we should all do it. That's it for now, y'all. Me and me and my mom, Yang, is out.